If you are on a mission to boost your energy and testosterone levels, this video today is perfect for you. I'll be diving into the top 5 micronutrients that will increase your testosterone and help you feel energetic and horny as you're supposed to be. Also, at the end I will give you 3 honorable mentions as well, so don't miss that part. On top of this list is a supplement that I personally think is maybe the best supplement overall. What I'm talking about is vitamin D. Recently I made a video revealing why I really love vitamin D and why it's the only supplement that I take since 8 years by now. To be honest, at some point I stopped looking at the research because I'm fucking sold man. Vitamin D, especially for me and likely for you as well, is really just so good. And it's not just for testosterone. Especially in winter, we are usually super deficient in vitamin D. But that's also a big reason why we all get sick in winter. Vitamin D is extremely important for your immune health. And that of course will be beneficial for your testosterone and your energy. But it's not only indirectly but also directly important for testosterone production. Multiple studies have linked lower vitamin D levels to lower testosterone as well. So especially if you are deficient, you might want to increase your vitamin D. It's also good for your bones, mental health, potentially even weight management and a couple other things as well. So don't worry, it is really good. And an awesome thing about vitamin D is that you don't even need to buy a supplement for it. In winter you might, depending where you live, because here in Germany for example, we don't get vitamin D during half the year. But in summer or if you live closer to the equator, just simply getting sunlight on your skin is the best way to get vitamin D. Or naturally at least. And all you need in summer is just 10 to 20 minutes. Of course again depending where you live, depending on the weather, a couple of factors. But you really don't need a lot. Next on this list is probably one of the best testosterone boosting minerals that you can supplement with. Zinc is crucial for the production of testosterone and other hormones as well. This study for example not only concludes a deficiency will lead to lower testosterone levels but supplementing with zinc actually increases testosterone levels. But as for all the other nutrients in this video, especially solving a deficiency will be most important. And if you're not deficient in any of those nutrients, just supplementing for the sake of it probably won't have a positive impact at all. But if you think you're not getting enough zinc, either get a supplement or potentially adjust your diet and that can be very beneficial for higher testosterone levels. Okay, let's go. What you can include in your diet to get more zinc is for one definitely oysters, famously high in zinc, but also you can find it in beef, spinach, pumpkin seeds, eggs and cheese for example. And in regards to the likelihood of you getting enough zinc, I just want to tell you the fun fact or maybe not so fun fact that about 25% of Americans are deficient in zinc. So maybe you're fine but maybe also you can benefit from more zinc. But also don't overdo it because supplementing with too much zinc can actually inhibit immune function. So again don't overdo it and then maybe also supplement it with copper as well because I've read that not doing that can be harmful too. We're talking about irregular heartbeat, bone pain, anemia and more. But overall it's very important for high testosterone and if you know that you're deficient you should do something about it. Now I have another mineral I want to talk about in this video. It's a mineral that supports hundreds of biochemical reactions in your body including testosterone production. It's a mineral you definitely heard of before and also a mineral that many Americans are deficient in. And exactly that deficiency in magnesium is proven to lead to lower testosterone levels. And also in turn supplementing with magnesium, especially in that case of deficiency, will increase testosterone levels as this study concluded. And also that study says as well it's even more important if you work out. So for my gym bros maybe that's something to consider as well. Now where can you find magnesium? You will find it in avocado, almonds, dark chocolate, fatty fish and a bit in meat and eggs as well. Also again for the gym bros because you work out and you sweat you actually lose more magnesium which makes it even more important for you to 
have enough of it. So either get more magnesium into your diet, especially if you know or you think that you're deficient in magnesium, or go for a magnesium supplement. Personally, I take a magnesium supplement in the evening, sometimes when I remember. And I'm telling you, I feel it really can improve your energy a bit. Again, depending on how much you get in your diet. And it also helps you fall asleep better as well. So for me, that's another supplement I take irregularly, but sometimes. Next on this list is something many people are overlooking. It's a trace mineral that many men never even heard of before. What I'm talking about is boron. Don't overlook boron, guys. Boron has been linked to increased free testosterone and decreased estrogen levels. And actually, it's proven to have quite a few benefits as this article suggests. I'm talking about reduced inflammation, bone growth and maintenance, cancer prevention and more. And yes, for the sake of this video, also improved usage of testosterone and vitamin D as well, by the way. Let's go. All that is why I'm really kind of interested in boron right now. I haven't supplemented with it yet, but I will likely focus on increasing the boron intake through the foods I'm eating in my diet. And maybe you might want to do the same. It really looks promising. And for the foods you could eat for more boron, I'm again talking about avocados. <laughs> I really like avocado, but also prunes, grapes, apples, beans and milk. Actually, mostly plant sources. So especially if you're on a carnivore diet, maybe you might even want to look into supplementing with boron. Maybe it can improve your health and vitality and your testosterone. And last, but certainly not least, we have another micronutrient that's really good for overall health, more testosterone and have been shown to support many other functions in your body as well. It supports your brain function, your heart function and a few other things as well. What I'm talking about is the good old fish oil or omega-3 fatty acids. And this study, for example, looked at men who take fish oil supplements aka omega-3 and found higher semen volume, larger testicles and more free testosterone. But I will say more studies need to be done and this is one of the few that I could find. But either way, omega-3 fatty acids have been proven to really be beneficial for good health as well. So you wouldn't only take it for more testosterone, but also just for your brain, for your heart and really just overall health. Many experts recommend getting enough omega-3 fatty acids in your diet or potentially supplementing if needed. And I would recommend you to do the same. Of course, you can eat a lot of fatty fish like salmon, mackerels and sardines. But because of the heavy metals, I probably wouldn't overdo it. And maybe consider a supplement or you can also find omega-3 in chia seeds, walnuts or good eggs, for example. As you see, eggs are once again a good source for a good nutrient. Come on, man! That's too easy! Eggs are really excellent. Okay, but let me tell you three honorable mentions as well, very quickly. One, Tonkat Ali, not a micronutrient, but a supplement that has been proven to increase your testosterone levels and actually by quite a significant bit in my opinion. So that's another thing you really can take. And same goes for other supplements like ashwagandha, maca, fedogia agrestis. Although personally, I think Tonkat Ali is still the best out of those, but maybe you want to look into those as well. And then vitamin C, which seems to help testosterone too. And lastly, a good lifestyle. Not a nutrient, not a supplement, but guys, while micronutrients are incredibly important for boosting testosterone, they are part of a bigger picture. Your lifestyle choices play a huge role too. So make sure you're getting enough sunlight, get enough sleep, you're staying active, you're working out, you're socializing, you're talking to women, you're managing stress and you're eating a good diet as well. Also, for the most extreme testosterone boost, give this video a like and share it with your soy boy friend and then start eating 10 raw eggs daily because that's really gonna push you to new levels. Now jokes aside, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you liked it. And it's actually true. Eggs are really good for testosterone, but I'll explain that here. So maybe just watch that video. 
and then have an awesome day, stay excellent and bye.